Hello there, my name is Rachel. The first time I see my channel, I use review cartoon series, anime series. So, let's up in Computer Random, and today we're going to talk about a new anime series called Inside Job from Netflix. And I have to say, the first time we saw the trailer, the whole cartoon company went to the breakdown because nobody liked what they saw because they were completely disappointed. Because it just felt something like Rick and Morty, and people were starting to get tired of that because they want something refreshing something new new especially if one of the writers in this new show was uh the guy who created of gravity falls you expect maybe something unique and different something bouncing something animation art and we instead we got this but when you start watching the series your mom drop because the series it is fun and interesting but it's nothing like rick and morty the fact it's sort of kind of inspired rick and morty but you get the same a uh, group of people of Futurama. It feels like a little bit more Futurama, but more modern day, but working an office job, but instead of like working normal pit work, you're basically doing trying to cover ups, trying to understand how to manipulate people, and also referencing a ton of conspiracy theories. In fact, there's a one character that he is, his name is a theory about the grassy gnome. You know what the grassy gnome? If you're not, it's the guy or the person they believe who killed. Uh, KFJ, in other words, that he is this person. And it's kind of fun to see this sort of reference here and there, especially if you don't know the reference or don't know the theory. Don't worry, the, the series do explain what this theory is, who this person is, or why they did it. And that's sort of fun because they're all super cocky, like, yeah, we were there, we did that. Oh, that's my work. Oh, I remember that. And that's sort of kind of cocky confidence that I just enjoy, especially how all the characters are bond to each other so well, especially our two main leads, Reggae, that she is basically the main lead with Brad, because Reggae is basically supposed to be in charge of the whole group. She was the chosen one because her dad was the main boss when he sort of break went crazy, or this this case was fired because he was just to intense around people and not her time to continue the legacy of her father. But Reggae, there's one problem of her that she's too smart to actually to communicate with people. She's not that cocky is that she is super smart. She can fix anything. The only problem is she falls into that sort of cliche that I'm too intelligent, but I don't know how to communicate the proper way. That's why she sort of struggled to communicate with the, t the team or we talk to people because she doesn't know how to do it the right way. She's always angry, frustrated, and sometimes doesn't know how to say the right words. There, that's why they bring Brad. Brad is told the opposite. He is the yes man, the bro bro. He's the guy who could chill, talk to people, and certainly, but at the same time, he's the dumbest as bricks. He's the one basically help Reggae to do her job the right way, but at the same time, Reggae hates him so much. But she does understand she needs a brat so much to communicate with other people. And later on, she sort of softens enough with Brad, becoming partners how to run this organization. But I love it, Brad. He didn't get the job because he has experience. Brad got the job because he's positive. He said, yes, man. He always wanted to be loved and being okay. When he has things get seriously, Brad sort of forced apart. And that's why Reggae takes charge. She's the one you need the most. But when there's nothing really dangerous to handle, Brad takes the charge and basically communicates for everyone from uh, Reggae. And that is sort of interesting because you can see how they partnership works super well. Both of them need something with the other. And it's almost like a dance. And that's sort of interesting because you see both of them sort of develop more. They kind of remove that sort of weakness have becoming more confident when they must do. And I think that's the most interesting thing about this show to see how they all work. How they have to kind of manipulate someone or cover something. But done in a very interesting way. Especially they use a lot of reference of the conspiracy. How we use this are our advantage. Especially you have this sort of Game of Thrones going on in the background. That people are trying to take over the whole company. 
or take over the group because they have more power or because of this. But once more, this series keep it entertaining, fun. They never rely on trying to be Rick and Morty. This show is its own thing. Yeah, I love it. It's one of those series that almost sort of junk food or something like kind of like Futurama that you could watch any episode of Futurama and enjoy it because you understand and love the characters and their job is actually is interesting. That's why Inside Job is so great. They took all the ideas of Futurama and the love it a little bit differently in relatable, likable characters. An interesting job to see what they do. Now, anything back not right now. At least I can't think of anything wrong with it. Just maybe because it feels sort of something you've seen before. But that's nothing bad. This series is great. I mean, the first couple of minutes is kind of shaky. But when they find their pacing, they get into it. This something just fun and interesting to see this character sort of struggle and figure out how to get out of the situation they're in. Now... I got nothing really else to say, just one question, do you like this series, do you hate it, tell me down below, let me know. I got nothing else to say, just one more thing is, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye.